Guys, let me ask you something. If you are a network engineer and you want to grow your career, you probably heard about the CCIE and the CCD. These are not just normal certifications. These are big names. People call them elite, expert level, life-changing. But then big question comes, which one is better? Which one opens bigger doors, CCA or CCD? Now, this is not a simple answer because both are amazing, both can change your life, but they are very different in what they test, what they teach, and what they bring to your career. So, in this video, we will go deep. I will explain in very simple English, with lots of example and real cases, how the CCIE and CCD compare. And at the end, you will have a clear idea which one is right for you and which one might open bigger doors in your journey. Let's start with something interesting. The CCI is famous. Everyone knows the name. It started in the 1990s when the internet was still young. People said, if you pass CCIE, you are like a networking doctor. You can solve any problem. And honestly, it was true. CCIEs became the rock stars of big companies. They fixed broken networks. They built new ones. They understood protocols deeply. Now, the CCD is different. It's newer. It came around in 2007. It's about design not just configuration. It's about asking, how do we build networks for millions of users? How do we connect data centers across the world? How do we make the network survive if something big fails? Now, many engineers ask me, Orhan, which one should I do first? Should I go for CCIE or CCD? And I always say, it depends on your skills, your career goals, and what you enjoy doing. If you love hands-on configuration, solving complex problems, being in the middle of action, CCIE is your path. If you love big picture design, thinking about business, planning for growth, scalability, and understanding limitations, etc., CCD is your path. But which one opens bigger doors? That's where it gets interesting. Because the answer depends on what kind of door you want to open. Let me give you an example. Imagine you apply for a job in a large bank. The job is about keeping their network running, troubleshooting routers, switches, firewalls. They ask in the interview, what would you do if OSPF neighbors are stuck in X start state? Now, this is a 100% CCIE question. If you studied CCIE, you smile and answer easily. You might even draw the packets in your head that knowledge will open the door. But imagine another interview. This time the job is about planning the bank's future. They ask, we are buying another bank and we need to merge the networks. How would you design it so that users don't lose connectivity, etc.? Classical merger and acquisition question. Now, this is a CCD task. The knowledge you gain from CCD about business, scalability, and design principles will open this door. Now, let's talk about something everyone wants to know. Money. Salary recognition. Does the CCA give you a higher salary or does the CCD open bigger career doors? The truth is, both certifications can change your salary a lot but in different ways. When you pass the CCIE, companies see you as a very strong technical engineer. You can solve big network problems and you can keep things running when others cannot. Because of that, CCIEs often get higher paying jobs in support, operation, and implementation. Let me give you a simple example. Imagine there is a global company. One day, their entire network goes down. Nobody can use email, the website is offline, even their call center is broken. It's a chaos. They bring in a CCIE, the CCIE jumps on the console, check for the logs, check the configs, and find the issue. Maybe it's a BGP problem, maybe misconfigured roadmap. Within hours or less, the CCIE fix it and the company is back online. Now, do you think they will pay that CCIE well? Of course, because in that moment, CCIE just saved millions of dollars. That's why CCIEs are respected and often well paid. But the CCD is different. CCD is not about fixing what is broken. It's about making sure it doesn't break in the first place. It's about design, planning, business needs, and risk. So when a company hires a CCD, they are not just paying for technical skills. They are paying for trust. They are paying for someone who can design a network that will survive failures, support grow, and keep the business safe. And this kind of role often sits closer to the management, closer to the decision makers. And because of that, CCD salaries can be even higher not because of troubleshooting, but because of influence. Let me put it like this. CCIE is highly skilled problem solver, 
paid for deep technical ability. CCD is highly skilled network architect, paid for vision, planning and leadership. So if you enjoy being hands-on and fixing complex problems, CCI is amazing. If you enjoy being in meetings with executives, drawing designs and making decisions that shape the future, CCD may open bigger doors. But remember, money is not the only recognition. People ask me, which one has more respect, CCI or CCD? CCI is known by everyone, even hiring manager. It's a very strong brand. CCD is respected deeply, but mostly by experts in design and architecture, not so much by hiring managers. Simple as that. Now, let's look at career paths. With CCI, your career often moves into senior engineering roles. You can work as a lead engineer, network specialist, senior network admin, etc. You are the person everyone calls when the network is down. That's a powerful position and it can lead to management too, but mostly it's about being the strongest technical engineer. With CCD, your career moves more into design architect, solution architect, enterprise architect, or even CTO level paths. You are not just fixing or building, you are planning the whole future. You are in the room where decisions happen. So CCIE gives you respect as a technical guy, CCD gives you respect as the big picture thinker. And here is something important. Many engineers who have both CCI and CCD tell me CCI opened the first doors in their career, but CCD opened the bigger doors later on. The doors of strategy, leadership, and influence. So far, we talked about salary, recognition, and career paths. But let's get practical now. What do you actually study for CCI and CCD? And what is the exam experience like? Let's start with the CCI. The CCI exam is famous for being very hard. It has two parts, a written and lab exam. The written part checks if you know the protocols and the theory and the concept. But the real challenge is the lab. The lab is eight hours long and you sit in front of the computer with a big network topology. Your job is to configure, troubleshoot and fix it. Imagine it like you walk into hospital and someone says here's a patient with many problems broken bones heart issues infection fix them all in eight hours that's cci you need to know the exact comments the exact behavior of protocols and you have to do it very fast under pressure recently design part has been added to the cci exam as well by the way compared to ccd it's very short though now the ccd is very different the ccd exam is not about typing comments it's about design scenarios. You sit for eight hours as well, but instead of console, you get business cases. For example, you might see this. A retail company wants to expand into five new countries. They need secure connectivity, high availability, and fast cloud access. Here are their budgets. Here are their constraints. What kind of design do you propose? And you have multiple choice options, but they are not simple. Each choice has trade-offs. One is cheaper but less scalable. One is more secure but more complex. One is flexible but costs more. You need to choose the design that meets the business requirements. So the CCIE lab is about fixing a broken network. The CCD exam is about building the right network before even it exists. Now, some people ask which exam is harder. Well, that depends. If you love configs, CCI feels natural. If you love strategy, CCD feels natural. But make no mistake, both are very tough because both requires years of experience, not just reading a book. So can we finally answer the question, which one opens bigger doors, CCI or CCD? If your dream is to be the strongest technical engineer in the room, the one people call when the internet is down, the one can configure and troubleshoot complex networks under pressure, then CCI opens that door definitely for you. It gives you instant respect a strong salary and a repetition. But if your dream is to sit with business leaders, to design global networks, to influence strategy and make decisions that shape the future, then CCD opens that door for you. And if you ask me, the biggest doors often open when you combine them. Because when you have the deep technical expertise of a CCIE and the big picture vision of CCDE, you are not just an engineer or an architect. You are a complete professional. You can build, you can fix, and you can design. Very few people in the world have both, and that makes you truly unique. So here is my advice. Don't just chase the certification that looks shiny. Think about your career. 
your passion, your future. Do you want to be hands-on solving problems or do you want to be the planner designing for the future? Once you know your answer, you will know which door is bigger for you. Because at the end of the day, it's not the letters after your name that open doors. It's how you use the knowledge, the skills and the mindset that come with them. CCA and CCD are just keys. The real power is in your hands. Enjoy studying with Orhanagon.net.